This old woman has lost everything but her life. Her four sons, her house, her garden, even her shoes. This mother is crying because her husband is dead. She and her child are destitute. These children have nothing left but the bundles they were able to load into a broken down wagon. These are the wanderers of the world today. They have no place to go. Just away from the blackened ruin which was once a home. Away from the stinking corpse which was once a father or a husband. These people are refugees. And refugees are a military problem. In their tragic bewilderment, they clog our supply and communication lines, create confusion, spread disease. The very old, the very young, the homeless, the days. The Germans have their own methods of dealing with such a problem. Bullets have been very effective. So has barbed wire. But we believe in different methods. We believe in taking these homeless and weary people out of the storm of war. We use ships built for attack on errands of mercy. At first, the refugees are timid of our soldiers and sailors. In the past, uniforms have spelled disaster for them. Black shirts, brown shirts. Now, all of drab. But no stormtrooper ever helped a mother off an LCI. This man, who made a good living as a pottery worker in San Pietro, didn't object to the delousing gun. He had no desire to bring germs and lice to the men who were fighting the army, which had destroyed his factory and home and family. The kids aren't quite sure what's happening. All they know is that the dreaded noise of bombs and airplanes is missing, and their elders don't cry as much as they did. And yet, Many of them can't understand where their father or mother is. And the friend of the family who is taking care of them doesn't want to explain. After a while, the machinery to help begins to move. Sweaters, pants, skirts, coats from attics and closets in England and America. These people will not forget. Next comes questioning. Names, dates, places. When did you last see your son? What is your daughter's first name? Families are brought together. And enemy agents are ferreted out of the mass of refugees. Finally, food. Food at a table, warming and comforting. The grandmothers, the mothers, the children. They eat, and slowly the nightmare begins to disappear. The little things of life go on again. A woman knits. The big things go on too. A woman has a baby. After processing, the refugees move on to resettlement camps in the south of Italy, where they will wait until the day comes when they can return to rebuild their towns, and their houses, and their lives. These men and women in Italy are but a handful of the millions of refugees we'll meet in France and Holland and Belgium and wherever the Nazis have conquered. And in each country, we'll solve the problem in the same way. A man named Hitler put tears in this little girl's eyes. Now millions of men are fighting to put a smile back on her face.